All right, Bill, the Browns get set to return from the bye week and face the Cincinnati Bengals, somewhat refreshed maybe, to see Robert Griffin III over the, the end of the oh, season. Oh, goody. Uh, you can't lose to bye week, right? It's impossible to lose to bye week. Uh, Robert Griffin was the Heisman winner in 2011. I voted for him. In 2012, I think he was Offensive Rookie of the Year. It's the last time he was really good. He and Mike Shanahan combined to set his career back by playing him when he was hurt and he blew out his knee. The next year he was okay. That would be 2013. Right, yeah. And he's missed three fourths of this season with the Browns. Hasn't played much since then. I would not expect much. Right. But then that's the virtue of low expectations with the Browns. <laughs> it's been in effect for some years, and this year I think it's dramatically lower expectations. Well, what do you think uh, on the game this week? Well, of course, until I show that they can win a game, right. I'm going to pick the other team. Cincinnati, 21 to 8 with a safety. Bilinak has returned also from a bye week. You know the deal. Michael Starkey has the envelope. And the chuckle, I might add. I will divine from the vibes in the ether. The question? Skyline Chili, Boomer Esiason, and the Icky Shuffle. Skyline Chili, Boomer Esiason, and the Icky Shuffle. What, pray, could it be? The envelope, sir. And the answer is, what's a food from Cincinnati, a player from the Cincinnati Bengals, and the Browns quarterback shuffle? <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, folks.